Hello everyone, Jerry Riz here, coming to you with another video, and today we're out with the old, and in with the new. That's right, I just picked up the brand new 2700X from AMD. That's right, today I'll be replacing my Ryzen 1700 with the new Ryzen 2700X. Now I've been using the Ryzen 1700 for a year, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace chip for chip in the same board using the same cooler for apples to apples comparison to make it as easy as possible to see the upgrades I'm making. Now, the first thing we need to do is unbox this. Let's do it. All right, let me grab the biggest knife I have to cut this. Sure, why not? Okay. As you see, chip is right there. Let's get it out. Now, the first thing we have here is that really, really cool new cooler they have, which is the, the Wraith Prism. As you can see, it has a huge copper base, really good thin stack, and it's supposed to be a really, really, really nice fan. And that is RGB and all lit up, but this is not the important part, because I'm actually going to do this today, but I will do a video on this probably sometime in the future. But what we really want to see is this little tiny box that has the new Ryzen 2700X processor. Let's get this out of here. Obviously, they give you a little sticker, which is always nice. I always like putting these on the system, but... Let's get this inside of my computer. It's right over there. Okay, first my apologies. I'm recording this on a camera because I do not have a capture card currently and I do not want to introduce any kind of lag or anything using OBS. So in this video, I will be using my camera. But I just wanted to show you my bio settings right now which is at 3900 with the 1700, with the Ryzen 1700, sorry. And I'm uh, running 2800 in memory because this is all this motherboard I'm currently running would actually push with this chip and be stable using an offset of uh, 0.075 volts. I know it's a little high, but for 3.9, it's been working for me. I have a pretty good cooler. Um, here's the rest of the voltages. But what I wanted to show you was I am using uh, BIOS, 3.40 on my X370 Gaming K4 uh, from AS Rock, and I just wanted to show you that just before doing any tests. Okay, so the first test I'm going to run is a quick Cinemesh test just to see where this uh, chip with nothing in the background that's not essential running will do a Cinebench test. Let's start it up, see how quick we can get. Looking pretty good so far. As you see, I have done 1600, 1690, 1700 on this chip before, but let's see where it is now. All right, nice. Uh, 1695 with all cores clocked at 3.9 gigahertz. Uh, now let's see another test. Okay, so the next one would be a game test. Now this is a brand new Far Cry 5 that I just picked up, and it does have a benchmark built in, so that's what we're gonna run. Now the, what I'm running here is a 1080, uh, GTX 1080, that has been overclocked on, on the memory and also on the, on the core, just by 100, nothing crazy, but just a little bit. Now let's see how this runs. All right, just so you know, this benchmark is running in 1440p with everything at ultra and everything on. Okay, averaging 71 FPS overall and 63 minimum, which is awesome for 1440p in this game with everything at ultra. So let's see if the next chip will do better. Okay, first now we have to disassemble the rig currently. Got to get the 1700 out. Uh, this is my current mining slash gaming slash home theater PC. I did a video on it. It'll be right here, but let's take it apart. Okay, now here you have, this is the one we're going to be using for the test. This is the Noctua D14. Um, it's an angled cooler. As you can see, it blows down onto the board. Uh, if I will link below to my kit where everything is included, but let's get this apart. All right, there she goes. She's off. And there we have 
the Ryzen 7800 that is coming out. There she is, the Ryzen 1700. Let's see how the other one does. Okay, here we go. Ryzen 2700, ready to go in. And what you gotta do is you gotta mash the little corner up here with the corner on the motherboard. Let's lock it down. We are in. Okay, since we had such good application on the chip last time, I'm gonna use the same application. I'm gonna use the Noctua's NTH1. Now, this is a pretty good uh, thermal compound. It's very good for overclocking, and Noctua sends it with all their stuff because they make some of the best fans. And the D14 I've been using for over five years, six years, seven years probably, and it has never let me down. The fans have lasted that long. It's really, really good. Now let's get it on here. All right, let's do a nice even coating here. There we go. That is good. This is non-conductive, so it's not gonna mess up any of your parts on the board. So we have some overflow. It's not gonna be the biggest deal. Now let's get this guy back on here. Okay, so off camera, I in fact uh, updated to the 4.6 BIOS, which is the newest BIOS that does support Pinnacle Ridge, which is what the new CPUs are. And uh, now I'm gonna turn it on. Let's see, I'm gonna flick this on. All fans are in place, everything's in place. Let's turn it on and see if she boots. Yes, BIOS screen, let's get into the BIOS. Yes! All right, there we go. We are good to go. We are running 4.6, like I said. I updated to that off camera, like I said. We're running the Ryzen 7 2700X at 3.7 gigahertz base, which is awesome. I haven't done anything to memory yet. I'm not gonna do anything to memory just quite yet. I just wanna look through the overclocking features of what it looks like. AS rock settings, it's a little different in here with this BIOS, okay. I kind of just want to boot into the system to see what we can do. So let's discard any changes and let's boot into the system. Yes, Windows. Yes. All right, first boot into Windows. There we go. Okay, so now that we have it up and running, I kind of want to do a test with this chip completely stock on this X370 board. Let's start up with Cinevention, but first we'll look at hardware info. We'll see what everything's running at. Obviously, we're running at lower clocks right now, but they should boost up as soon as we start doing something. Let's, uh, let's start up Cinevention and see what we get. All right, we're boosting to about 3.9 on all cores with my fan that I have it set up right now. So let's see how fast it finishes. Whoa, okay. So it boosted a 3.9 on all cores, on all cores during that test, and it obliterated, well, not completely, but it got just 1725, which is above the 1695 I got in my last test. And this was the chip at completely stock, not overclocked, and it's overclocking itself. Not even XFR2, this is XFR1 on original X370 board, not the 470 board, boosting up to 3.9 and doing better than my overclock on my last chip. That is really, really cool. Now this is the only test I'm going to do on this one because I want to overclock this chip to see what we're going to do, but that is some really cool numbers. Okay, so now I have my memory back at 2800, which seems to be limited to the board. I couldn't get any higher, which means I'm probably going to use one of those new X470 boards in the future. But other than that, I have it now clocked the 2700X to all cores on 4200 or 4.2 gigahertz. 
as you can see right here, I have it right there, all cores. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Cinemesh again, and uh, let's see what we get. Wow, all right, it's the same score as I just got before. 1823, it's running on the 2800 memory, only 2800, we're not going to 32 or anything crazy like that, just 2800 megahertz memory, uh, the 4.2 gigahertz on the core clock, uh, the VID or, or the, the, core, the core voltage is set to 1.4, which is, I think, okay. I wanted to bump it a little bit so I wouldn't have any problems with the tests, but look at that, 1823, that is, quite a bit more than the 3.9 that we had on the original chip. But what I'm also going to do now is I'm going to try out some of my other benchmarks like Far Cry and stuff. So let's see how they do. Okay, so we're going to run the same benchmark for the same exact settings. I haven't changed anything. So let's see how it does. Whoa, definitely higher FPS to start off with. Well, there you have it. It is higher FPS. It's not by much, but it is actually more than what we were getting before. Now, I, every game's gonna be different. I'm using Far Cry because it's one of the newest games out there. Um, it might be it might be more GPU bound than CPU bound, but the CPU upgrade definitely did give us more frames rendered, higher minimum, higher average, and higher maximum FPS. So that is a really good jump. Okay, so same as before inside Premiere Pro. Uh, same video, same spot, uh, we're going to do it in the same quality that we had it, and let's see if, how long it takes this for, how long it says it's going to take. Well, that definitely seems a bit lower than the other one. I'm going to have to check back on the video and let you know. Well... I hope you enjoyed that video. I went from, yes, this is the 7800 to the 2700X. Uh, I did get a good boost in performance. Um, I think the, the motherboard I have is definitely limiting me, uh, especially because I can't go above still 2800 uh, megahertz on the memory, uh, you know, stable. I'm probably going to go to the Tai Chi X470 from AS Rock. Uh, because the Gaming K4 was known to be not that great of a board, but the actual Apple to Apple should be pretty good. Look, this one definitely performs better. It definitely overclocks more, that's for sure. It even overclocks stock. If you want to just run this thing stock on your motherboard, it'll perform better than the 7800 ever did. And this was $300 when it came out too. This is only 330 329 whatever you want to call it. And it comes with a better cooler than this one did. This is definitely... Definitely the one to get. I, bar none. I'm really hoping to get an X470 board to kind of see if that is definitely going to give me any more performance. Uh, like I said, if you already have an X370 board and you have a 1700, it might not be worth it. Because if you don't want to upgrade your motherboard, you might not be able to get the performance out of this as you would compared to this. It's not the biggest boost ever, especially in gaming, for me on this board anyway. But uh, if you're looking to upgrade everything and you want to sell off what you have because we were kind of the guinea pigs on the first year, but this is definitely a mature product now. This is stable, rock solid, and I really can't wait to get the Tai Chi uh, AS Rock and see what this can do. All right, this has been Joey Riz. See you later.